I know that you want to get a high paying remote job. So today I will teach you the steps you have to follow to get it. I have been a game developer for the past 4 years and I have been looking for a remote job since then. So I will teach you the exact tips you have to follow to get them. Moreover, there are a lot of myths we'll break down and a lot of strategies that are in nowhere but in this video. Let's start. The first step towards getting a remote job is becoming the best at the job you want to apply for. This may sound quite silly, so obvious, but not so many people are the best before going for a job. You have to actually study, learn a lot of things, practice a lot, create a lot of projects, and then when you have done that, you are ready to start applying for them. But before, you just have to focus on improving your skills. That is the first step. What you have to think is that when you're applying for a job, probably there are about more than 100 applicants. So you're in a race against a lot, a lot of people. That means that the results will be quite difficult. Also, other thing that you have to know is that human resources people, when they are looking at, at your resume, your CV, your profile or whatever, they don't usually take more than 10 or 15 seconds to decide if reading more about you is worth or not. So if as soon as they start going through your profile, they realize that you don't have that much experience, that you don't have that much of your skills and that you haven't practiced a lot, probably they will just reject you right away because they have a bunch of CVs to go over. It may sound harsh, but that is their reality. Recruiters, usually what they pay more attention to is your experience in different companies or in different positions. But maybe you don't have any experience in any of those companies. So what you can do instead of doing that is showcasing all of your projects that you have created. And there you could write a very short description about the technologies that you used for each project the difficulties that you have to overcome and whatever other information that will tell the recruiter that you actually have pretty good skills. Also, the thing that you could do is to write about the experience as, a, as probably you want to have an experience or you can write about it there is that you have been a freelance game developer for the past months, for example. This will help the recruiter know that you are actually always looking for a job and a way for making a living for working as a developer. Then those skills and experience that you have, you have to showcase them in your CV and in your portfolio. Let me show you an amazing CV and portfolio templates that you can use in order to get your first remote jobs. These are the CVs and portfolio that I personally use and I get a lot of response rate when I, I am applying for some jobs. So this is my uh, current CV. First of all, I did really recommend you to use some software like for example Canva because as you can see here, you have a lot of templates that you can use. This will, this will not only save time, but will also ensure that you have a clear layout and you will already have this style for your CV, so it will really save you time. And now I will quickly go over the different sections that your uh, CV should have. First of all, a photo of you is super important. There are a lot of things that you may already know about your photo, that it shouldn't be like an Instagram photo in front of the mirror or something like that. It should be something minimalistic as if it were for your ID or something like that. Or even if you have a photo giving a conference or something like that, so that would be even better, I think. Then you would have your name and I also recommend you to write what you are. So maybe you're a game developer and also you do other things. So write there both things. Um, then some personal information about uh, your phone, uh, your email, your birth date, uh, where uh, you are living and some uh, other social aspects, okay? Social links. Then write a short paragraph about yourself, about what you are, what you are doing. And then right below your about me section, you should write your professional experience. You should write the name of the company where you have worked, then the title of the position at that company, and then the time. Also I recommend you to write a short description about the 
uh, position because sometimes the positions aren't so clear. For example, if you write here participant in the Voodoo Academy program as an external studio, probably it won't understand everything. So that's why I just write a very short description. Also, um, in the highlighted text, there are links uh, that will redirect the recruiter to some source where they will be able to learn a little bit more about the position for example here they have the uh Buru academy basically so they have all the information that they there is available about this position and also in the middle of some sections i also put uh, the different games that i have created okay these are the two most important sections the about me and the professional experience then Anything else besides this, I think it's not going to be super, super important. And of course, your name and this first header, let's say. Um, then over here, there is some extra information. For example, the technical knowledge, the different certifications that I have, the languages. And well, just here, some uh, testimonials. Okay. Now let's move to the portfolio website. The layout that you should follow is quite similar to the CV. Okay. But the good thing about having a portfolio is that firstly you can just share this link in your portfolio that is what i did uh, right here as you can see and it's a more dynamic way of getting to know uh, uh, about the experience for the recruiter okay so let's now get a little bit deeper into how to create a portfolio correctly first of all this would this section would be like this one exactly this one in the cb okay so basically here i just write again who i am what i do and i also put the background with some projects that i have created there is some stylish way of showcasing this and a button to jump to the projects okay because it's sometimes uh, things that people want to know quickly so they can just jump right away to there but we'll go there in just a second then here we have the about me section here this is quite long i think so i will probably change it in the future and i will do something much more simple and short as in my cv but of course you can expand yourself a little bit more in your portfolio because you aren't limited in just writing one page as you would usually do in your cv and well by the way here there is a button to download it and now we are in the most important section as i have told you in the cv the professional experience again i have the different positions so first of all i have the company okay then i have the uh, title a short description and the dates and basically here if they click in any of this again there is some kind of link that is related to the position if the recruiter wants to know more about the company about the position about whatever I also have uh, the different testimonials, okay? And if I scroll down a little bit more, I will find the certificates that if they click the card, uh, they will be able to actually uh, see the certificate and I have it divided in the different sections. So for example, these are game development certificates, these are pixel art and this one is other section, let's say. I, I also have the different skills that I have and the relevant projects okay so here what i did this section is also super interesting to take a look at this is what i was telling you about showcasing your projects and yourself in a more dynamic way because here this is a website you can actually put some videos or gifs so by just looking at this you can understand what the project is about how the game works and then if you want to take a deeper look you can always go to the store page okay Again, I have here different sections as I have created games for companies, for clients and for myself. So I have the games that are associated with Voodoo. Then I also have uh, some indie games. And finally, I have some freelance projects that I can't showcase all of them because sometimes the client doesn't give me permission and that's his right. So uh, there is no problem with that. But when they give me permission, I showcase it here as well. And finally, the most important section in the portfolio, because without this section, it would be worthless. I'm talking about the contact me section. This is super simple. You just write your email, your phone, and you can even uh, create some form so that people can contact you directly by here and also a footer. OK, but that's not a big deal. Taking a closer look to the portfolio, you also have a go up button because for sure recruiters will be scrolling down in your profile, but then probably they will want to go right back. 
so that they don't have to scroll with their mouse they can just click a button and it is more a handy way of doing it also i have here a small nav so they can navigate the website the different sections directly and i also leave a link to my github and linkedin also as you probably know i'm argentinian so i also apply for positions that are in argentina and that's why i had to create the website in both um, Spanish and English it's the exact same website just that it is translated uh, to Spanish with this you have literally every any everything but there is one little yet super important thing to start doing and that is massively applying let me quickly explain how this works you have to start applying for different jobs of course but where to do so I really recommend you to do it through LinkedIn okay because here there are a bunch of jobs, not only on the job section, but here if on the search bar, you write, for example, um, Unity Game Developer. Okay, and you go to the post. You will find that there are Unity Game Developer positions, sorry, or something like that. As you can see, well, here job opportunities start to appear. But what is called massively applying is applying a lot. And I'm not talking about one, two, three applications a day. I'm talking about hundreds of applications if possible. Well, not hundreds, but dozens of applications. Maybe for your specific position, there aren't a lot of jobs available. But for example, if we go to the jobs and we look for, for example, community manager. Okay, and we look for worldwide positions. We will find a lot of these positions and when i say a lot as you can see we have a lot <laughs> and if we for example say that we only want to show the past 24 hours as you can see we have over a hundred results in the last 24 hours so that's a lot um and how we can take advantage of this is that for example on linkedin we have the easy apply option so basically we do everything we literally just a couple of clicks because if not we would have to go to the uh, company website and apply there write all of our data uh, from scratch let's say and here it's much easier to apply so we can even sort by only easy apply as you can see we only have 12 results but this is from the past 24 hours if we show the results of the past week as you can see we have over 300 results with easy apply by following all these steps, you will eventually get a remote job or a client or something that will get you money. Remember, this is not something that will happen from one day to other. You actually have to start applying a lot. And in the meantime, you have to keep the ball rolling. This means that you still have to practice, learn and create new projects. And as you create new projects, you have to keep updating your CV and portfolio. My message here is that eventually if you are doing things right you will get that dream job it may take more time it may take less time but the good thing is that eventually it is going to happen if it is going to happen if you keep listening to people that is trying to help you based on experience and it will happen if you keep practicing you are the only one that can make this work having that in mind i really appreciate you watching this video if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments. Also, like and subscribe so that YouTube will notify you and recommend you more my content. And for sure, you will learn more. I hope you have an amazing day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.